Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Hanging out, free asshole consulting days at assholeconsulting.com where if you got questions and I have answers, you don't even need money. You don't need money. You know what you need to do. All you have to do is promise for the rest of your life you're going to use my Amazon affiliate program for making all your future Amazon purchases. Hi, asshole. I've been a long time watcher, but never thought I had a question that you had an answer previously. I figured I'd give this a shot since I have to use your Amazon affiliate. So I'm trying to decide what to do with my career. I graduated with my bachelor's of science in nursing last year. I've been working as a registered nurse and making pretty decent money, especially considering I'm only 24, no wife, no kids. However, I'm thinking about going for a higher degree and more money. I know an RN salary is enough to raise a family, but it won't be f filled with going places, etc. I know you preach minimalism. I feel like I practice that to a degree now, but I feel like once you have a family, it's much harder to be a minimalist when others depend on you. Well, I mean, you, you don't spoil your family rotten either. I mean, you can be a minimalist while raising children. You just are going to spend more money, obviously. Uh, so I've looked at enough of your videos to see you say, go nurse practi practitioner or go home. And for those of you who aren't in the nursing world, nurse practitioner is like the highest ranked nurse you can be. Don't email me if there's some fucking obscure specialist that outranks it. I'm aware. I'm aware. And your most recent one finally mentioned the CNRA, both of these degrees while making quite a bit in the case of the CN CRNA more money. However, the debt from going back to school can be huge. In the case of CRNA school, it's now essentially a nationwide uh, doctoral program, and those in the program seem to be about 100000 in debt after three years. It doesn't allow you to work during that entire three-year time period. I realize you will make that money back with a salary that's approximately triple that of an RN, but I hate debt. I would rather not be in debt if possible. Nurse practitioner school is a little more flexible, allowing you to work, and it also costs a little less than CRNA. Yet that route pays considerably less than, well, what's a CRNA make? CRNA medium salary. Uh, let's just do BLS. Nurse anesthesiasts. One sixty nine for mean annual wage. What's a nurse practitioner got? I thought they were up in the ones. Hundred ten. Okay. So, so it's fifty thousand less. But I don't know. Once you make more than. I can't imagine needing more than eighty thousand dollars to have it. Well, I mean, if you got kids, maybe you do want a little bit more. Oh, be 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 be. I have been doing research about salaries for RNs with experience. It seems they can get eighty k range and over if you work OT. Yeah, but do you want to work OT, especially if you're going to raise kids? So with that said, what do you think is the best option for me? Before graduating, I was not set on having kids and staying an RN, as the pay seems pretty good for. A house with no kids. Now that I've changed my mind on the child issue, I wonder if I need to change my career as well. Yeah, if you're going to hear, look, when you have kids, they're the number one thing. Now your career. Your career is now to serve your kids. I, I just, I'm appalled and disgusted with predominantly women, but some men do this too, where I have kids, but my career is more important. It's like raise, raise your fucking kids. Raise your goddamn motherfucking kids. I know someone has to work. Someone should be home. And the other person who's working should also come home sometime too. You need both the mother and the father present in the household. So when it comes to uh, this, the number one thing is that you make enough money, but you're not working OT. And um, if I do the math, you should more than adequately support a family on the $110,000 median annual income that a nurse practitioner makes. Would it be nicer to have the extra $50,000 a CRNA have? Okay, fine. But is it going to be worth the $100,000 in debt in the extra three years? No, I don't think so. So if I were to do it, I would definitely do the nurse practitioner. Because here's the thing, as you point out, you can go there part-time. You're not going to be incurring a ton of debt. Um, you can work at the same time. That's years working experience. I know a buddy, he, he's banging out working at the emergency room. He's going to nurse practitioner school. I think he's graduating pretty soon. Already has job offers lined up. After a while, you don't need more money. I don't need what you don't know what you're going to need more than one hundred ten thousand dollars. And I'm a big capitalist. I'm I'm all for make people making billions of dollars a year. 
But when it comes to raising a family and having your freedom of being a minimalist, you just don't need that much money. And so because of the time commitment, the debt commitment, the fact you can't work, no, fuck the CRNA school. Fuck that. That's not worth it. Go become a nurse practitioner and you're going to have, if, if you invest the money you would have saved otherwise, not ha- and, and all the extra years, you work three years, that's an extra $100,000 maybe. You're not going into that much debt. That money can be invested in an average returning mutual fund. You probably end up making more in the long run anyway. But my real issue is the time, and then you're going to have to pay off that debt. I just, no, no, no. Forget CRNA school. So, All right, that's it. We'll talk to you kids later. Toodles.